If you stop me up, if you stop me up, I'll never stop. Genius Pie Trap, not Mick Jagger, as you might have guessed from my amazing singing. But this is a video on how to fix Steam not starting up. If you can't get Steam to work on your computer, it just will not start. I have an older video discussing this and people have in that video have posted other ways that might solve the problem and I'm going to go through several of those ways. So let's close out of Steam here and for the sake of this video let's just say that I click down here and it will not start up for whatever reason. Alright so the first thing you want to do is hit Control alt delete all at the same time and go to your task manager and here in your process this is very similar to Windows 7 if you might have Windows 7 and you want to scroll down and find anything with Steam related just the Steam client bootstrapper click on that click end task and we want to end task anything Steam related there like so Let's just quick do a quick search like that. And Steam should start up from there. If that doesn't work, your next step should be just to restart your computer. If after doing step one and doing step two does not work, the next thing we want to try is to start Steam right directly from the executable. As you can see, I've been starting at mine from the quick taskbar. You might have a shortcut up here or something. So let's find the executable. Now, most people, this will be in your C drive. Mine's in the E drive. But you want to find Steam and then scroll down. And you want to find this one, the Steam application. And from here, we can do a couple things. Before we, we can just maybe click on it. Maybe it'll work if you right click on it. You can try run as administrator. We can also go down to properties. And we can try compatibility mode. And we can click on here, run compatibility mode, and try different things right here. So a lot of times at Windows XP will work, make it run. Windows 7, if you're running Windows 10, Windows 8. There's a lot of different things that we can try here to make it work. Mine runs fine in Windows 10, so I'm just going to leave it like that. We can also click right here, run this program as an administrator. All those things might work for you if you're giving you problems. Now, the, if that doesn't work, another thing we can do is to flush the config. If we go in our search here and what we want to do is bring up the run command. If we hold the Windows key and press R, or if we just type it down here, run. Now, in this run window here, what we want to type in is steam semicolon forward slash forward slash flush config. I'll put it in the description and we're going to hit OK just like so. And you can see something and mine's going to actually start up. This will reset your local steam configuration and you will need to log into steam again. Do you wish to continue? We're going to click OK. Now after that, after a while, you'll get a pop-up asking you to re-log in. I suggest actually restarting your computer before you do this and re-sign in. Method number five is you want to go back to your Steam folder. Again, C drive, program files, x86, then you're looking for your Steam folder or wherever it is. In case mine's the E folder, Steam. And you want to find client registry dot blob and simply select it like so. Hit the delete key like that and restart up Steam. There it is. Out of those five solutions, I hope that one of them solved your problem. And hopefully, it didn't take you all five to come up with this solution. But if you guys got any questions, put them in the comments below. Talk to you later. Genius Pie Trap, over and out. Later. Bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. Giddy up. It is good to be giant. Guts and glory.